Are you surprised at how popular the show is? <sighs> you yeah. have a nickname for your yes, fan base. I, yes, Gladiators. I am surprised. I, you know, the first season, those little seven episodes, you know, we were kind of in this bubble just doing our work and re working really hard and loving every second of it. And then slowly but surely, day by day, I would get recognized. Hey, are, are you that girl from Scandal? Hey, Quinn Perkins. Hey, are you going to do that with Huck? Hey, you're crazy. You know, just build and build and get more and more. So it is kind of shocking and crazy. Yeah. This is, this was in response from a Twitter. You retweeted us. Yes. Which is amazing. So we got some questions. What has been the scariest part of being a gladiator? Seems like you put your all into the show. Absolutely. I think all of us definitely go 150%. I think the writing on the show really requires that of everybody. And also, all the other actors on the show are so freaking good that it, you know, you're just trying to be at the top of your game every single day. And I've gotten to do a lot of things that I've never done in my personal life. Like, for example, torturing a dude with a drill. Um, so it does require, she, you know, Sean is such an amazing writer that she does ask you to go outside your comfort zone and do things that you've never done before in your life. Which, Let's talk about this drill. <laughs> Let's talk about this drill scene and the torture. Never did I think I would be sitting on this couch talking about, talking about me with a drill in my hand, yeah. torturing a dude like never did, in my wildest did, dreams. Is Huck taking Quinn a little too far? Are we seeing, is Quinn really that dark inside? Are we going to see a darker side of Quinn? I think that Quinn is definitely going in that arena and that it, it, it's not, well, how I like to think about it is that it's not necessarily darker. I think that she's had so many horrible things happen to her in her life that in that drill moment, she finally got a sense that she was in control and that it was, you know, her call. And so I think that that's sort of what she's hungering for. She's looking for a place to belong and she's looking for something to be good at. And it just so happens that what she's good at is uh, what Huck taught her to be good at. I'm not sure how Huck feels about that, though. We, will we find out how Huck feels about that? You will find Huck, out. Huck, of course, Guillermo Diaz. I love oh, him. There's not, there are no words, no words to describe him. He He's is wonderful. Wonderful. And just such a amazing, it's so funny, he plays such a dark, twisted, screwed up character on the show. And in life, he is nothing but just like lightness and happiness and awesome and he's a really really dear friend of mine so I feel very fortunate that I get to do scenes with him. What's the dynamic like between the cast because the best. there's so yes. much drama. Yes. Everyone is running uh, like high yeah, 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 yeah. high stakes high stakes. Yeah. Drama drama drama. Do you guys relax and kick back and drink wine together? We in do. Between takes? We definitely do. Not in between takes although I have to say as the glad you know I'm never on the White House set so I can't speak for them but for the gladiator side of things we are definitely really silly in between the takes, and I think that that sort of helps. Um, in between every take, we do a lot of body rolls, we do a lot of dancing, me and Columbus Short dance a lot, me and Guillermo sing a lot of songs from Rent. Um, we make each other laugh like crazy, and I think that it, it you know, it just, it, it, it makes it so that the, the whole day isn't spent in such, you know, dark, high-stakes area.